Welcome to a Council of Black Belts. I'm Shion Scotty Phillips. I hold the current ranking of 7th Dawn in the style of Ayuru Jiu-Jitsu. I will be the moderator of this episode entitled, Empty Your Cup, Leave Your Baggage at the Door. What is a Council of Black Belts? It's simply what the name implies, a group of black belts from various martial arts styles coming together to openly discuss various topics in and around the martial arts. In addition, it is an open and honest discussion, not only in martial arts studies and or instruction, but how to incorporate the martial arts into one's daily life. Our topic of discussion today is empty your cup, leave your baggage at the door. Empty your cup is an old Chinese saying and is often attributed to a conversation between scholar Tokusan and Zen master Raiten. As the story goes, Tokusan had come to Raiten to ask about Zen. During the discussion, the two enjoyed a cup of tea. At some point, Raitan began to refill his guest's teacup. However, he did not stop pouring once the cup was full. Tea began to overflow from the cup, and Tokusan said, Stop! The cup is full! To which Raitan replied, Exactly. You are like this cup. You are full of ideas. You come and ask for teaching, but your cup is full. I can't put anything in you. Before I can teach you, you'll have to empty your cup. This is true of most people. We are so full of information that before we may truly learn something, we must first empty the mind. Like most Zen teachings, there are many answers to a simple question. When I first read the phrase, empty your cup, I was drawn to another Zen koan or riddle. How do you catch a catfish in a gourd? This koan dates to the Miramuchi period in Japan around 1415. One may hope to catch the catfish by thrashing about in the water with the gourd, using it as if the gourd were a net. However, this is usually of little success, as the thrashing about just scares the catfish away. Yet, if one takes an empty your cup approach, a solution may be found that requires little to no effort. Catfish are an inherently shy yet somewhat curious creatures. They like to stay at the bottom of a pond. If one end of the gourd is cut off, forming a cavity, and then lowered into the water and allowed to rest upon the floor of the pond, with patience, the catfish will eventually investigate this new mysterious cavity swimming inside the gourd. Unable to turn around or swim backward, the fish is trapped. Another thought I ponder, having recalled these Zen parables, deals with the Japanese tea ceremony. There are many steps and traditions involved in the tea ceremony. The location of the tea house is ideally a freestanding structure surrounded by a small garden with a path leading through the garden to the tea room. The entrance is through a low square door or crawling in entrance called a nirajikuchi. To enter the tea room requires bending low to pass through and is symbolically a means to humble oneself and leave one's worries and burdens outside. I like to paraphrase this as leaving your baggage at the door. Several years ago, I had a prospective student enter my dojo. As the young man entered, I could see he was using a wheelchair. I had just read about the tea ceremony and the crawling in entrance. At that moment, I now realize I was utilizing empty your cup. Rather than assume this student had limited mobility and would not be able to train, I invited him into the dojo. I learned that his mobility was limited due to some degenerative muscle issues. However, he had some limited mobility without the assistance of the wheelchair for short periods of time. The young man's name was Sonny. He began training, and we were able to modify several techniques to his physical capabilities, both assisted by as well as without the use of the wheelchair. I lost touch with Sonny over the years. However, just recently, we have re reconnected on Facebook, and he's eager to begin training again. Typically, the panel would now open for discussion. However, with current COVID restrictions, we're not able to meet. What are your thoughts about empty your cup and leave your baggage at the door? Are there other Zen parables or personal philosophies you live by? I ask that you feel free to reach out to me via email and discuss your thoughts. You can email me at idaru1982 at gmail.com. That's A-I-D-O-R-Y-U-1982 at gmail.com. Please share your thoughts as well as additional topics you would like to see discussed. If you are interested in becoming a part of the 
Council of Black Belts, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a blessed day.